Now at 6, commemorating World AIDS Day, parts of the AIDS Memorial Quilt are on display at the Galleria Mall in Fort Lauderdale. They were laid out at a Rock the Ribbon ceremony put on by the World AIDS Museum. Other panels are hanging inside the mall. The quilt remembers those who died from AIDS. On this World AIDS Day, the emphasis is on raising awareness and in ending the stigma and discrimination associated with HIV. Medical experts also tout that with advances over the years, an HIV diagnosis is not a death sentence. If I get a new person, a new teenager, um, just diagnosed with HIV, I can look them in the face and say, if you just take this pill a day or these shots, um, you can live a healthy life for the rest of your life. And tonight at 7, there's a candlelight walk in Wilton Manor. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is there live. And Ted, what's the plan for tonight? Hi, Lauren. Well, surely people are going to start to gather here at Hagen Park in Wilton Manor. As you can see, actually, a few people um, already here right now just waiting. There's still about 45 minutes to go before that candlelight procession begins at 7 o'clock. It'll go from here at Hagen Park to the Pride Center on Dixie Highway. Now, today, while we're remembering those who are lost, we're also celebrating the strides in knocking down HIV. I've been HIV positive for the last 27 years. In 1995, Anthony Johnson learned he was HIV positive. That was a really devastating experience when all I could think of uh, was I was going to die. His life changed quickly. He lost his job and his home and was dealing with a host of medical issues. I told her I was HIV positive. She said, wait one moment, left. A few minutes later, came back and said, I need you to leave. When I got home, all my stuff was already out on the ground outside. Um, and the landlady was outside and said, no, no AIDS going to live here. Anthony's world looks very different today. He's in a long term relationship, got his degree and volunteers at the World AIDS Museum. I started feeling more empowered and he's an advocate to help others. All of this thanks to medical advances. It's one little tiny pill a day. What well, used to be horse pills, <laughs> you know, now it's a little tiny pill. Right now we have all the tools to stop HIV. We have the treatment tools and we have the prevention tools. Dr. Anna Puga is with Care Resource. While Florida ranks number three nationwide for new HIV infection, Miami-Dade being number one in the state, followed by Broward, Dr. Puga is encouraged as even more treatment options become available. The FDA approved the first long-acting medication for HIV, so you come in once a month and get two injections and that's it. That's your treatment for HIV. And there's prevention now called PrEP, where taking a pill a day can greatly reduce your risk of infection. The key in all this, however, is having a frank, candid conversation with your doctor. They um, need to talk about their mental health, their emotional health, their physical health, and their sexual health. And sexual health is really important. Anthony is grateful for the changes in his life, looking forward to many years ahead. I'm a 51 year old man looking forward to going into my 60s um, healthy and you know, I'm actually talking to my partner about when we're going to retire. And a live look again here at Hagen Park in Wilton Manors, where people are beginning to gather for that 7 o'clock vigil. It's going to be a walk that goes from here to the Pride Center on Dixie Highway. That gets underway again at 7 o'clock. Meanwhile, if you'd like to find out more information about testing, about treatment, and prevention, just go to our website, cbsmiami.com. We have a lot of information for you right there. Live in Wilton Manors, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.